Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance recently shared what his primary message to voters will be when he debates Democratic well, rival Tim Walz on Tuesday. Simple, that the, the, the candidacy, the team of substance, the team that actually has a record that, that we're proud of instead of we're running away from, and the team that actually has a plan is the team of Trump Vance. Republican Representative Tom Emmer has been helping the Ohio senator prepare for the 90-minute debate that will be hosted in New York by CBS News. He can talk about the economy that Donald Trump fixed and that Harris and Biden broke. He can talk about the border that Trump fixed and uh, they broke. And once he understands that Tim Walz is just going to try and deflect and go into this folksy whatever, he'll hold him accountable. The Minnesota governor has also been reportedly sharpening his debates skills. His messaging to voters often centers on how consequential the November 5th election is. It's all on the line, not just for the next four years, but for the next 40 years. Reproductive rights will probably be one of Waltz's strongest lines of attack against Vance, says John Mark Hansen, political science professor at the University of Chicago. Vance may be pressed on uh, whether as President Trump would sign an abortion ban uh, or a very, very short uh, period where abortions could be uh, performed nationwide. Voters shouldn't expect the VP nominees to provide a breakdown of their campaign's proposed policies, Hansen noted. The debates are always more show than their substance. Um, the candidates have become very, very skilled at pivoting away from the question they were asked and, and instead addressing an issue that they want to address. Voters who tune in Tuesday could get a sense of whether the vice presidential nominees provide them with a sense of comfort. But unless there is some kind of meltdown, Hansen says it is not likely the debate will move the presidential races needle. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington.